What's up guys, Ron Carter here. And today I wanted to share how you can create leverage in your business. And it's a really simple concept to help you understand the important things that you should be working on and the things that really don't make sense to work on if you wanna create leverage. Okay, so I think probably the best place to start is just like defining what leverage is, right? Like what is leverage? And so I got it right here on my screen and according to the Oxford languages, whatever, uh, it says that leverage is the exertion of force by means of a lever or an object used in the manner of a lever. So what this really means is like we're exerting force on something and that is like pushing something. So think of like a seesaw, right? When you're a kid and 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 you're playing on a seesaw and someone's sitting on the seesaw and then you can sit on the other side and it lifts them up. And, and so basically how this works in our business is we want to actually have asymmetrical language. And so I'm actually gonna share my screen real quick. I think this will actually help with me explaining this stuff if I can draw some of this stuff out for you. Creating leverage with our business. So this is this is one graph that I want to show you when it comes to time and energy. And I learned this from a book called Essentialism by Greg McEwen, right? So this is this is our energy, right? And this is like energy in the uh, in a day that we all have as human beings, right? Imagine this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units of energy, right? And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units of energy. And so from this part of the graph right here, from the top of this energy ball thing, whatever this is, up to here, this is your results, right? And so think of this as like, okay, all of this energy is focused into one direction. You get better results. This is energy focused into a lot of different directions, right? And so this is one of the reasons why like it's inevitable that in life you're not going to be able to put all of your waking energy just straight into business growth like because you're going to have things like you're going to have you know business you're going to have uh family you're going to have you know relationships you're going to have like whatever other things you have in life right but at least when it comes to the energy that you're putting in your business you want that to be leveraged energy and so here's what i mean this is an example of what leverage is not because i'm going to share with you what i used to do um when i first got started that was not leveraged at all so i was posting on facebook and and you can this can be facebook or instagram they're the same it's like really similar to this and i would make one post per day And then after that, if people commented, I would get into a conversation that says conversation with whoever commented on that post for the day, right? And these conversations, if I had enough of them, they would lead to either, either sales calls, depending on what I was promoting and what I was doing at the time, or they would lead to uh, me sharing my affiliate link affiliate link right and this model here works but the problem is this with this model it is a one it's one to one i do one thing i get one thing and and here's the real problem with it is i get just one thing today i do one thing today and then i get one thing today and so there's really no no leverage here because what we actually want to create for our business and what really leads to a lot of growth over time, because here's the thing, to, to really implement leverage, 
in our business, we have to understand that time is like our secret weapon that we can use. And so if we have a leveraged activity, so this is a leveraged activity and what the, what the results for that look like. Leveraged activity. And I'll give you some examples of this here too, right? So a leveraged activity is something that I, I do something today. I do one thing today and on the result side of things, I get a result, I get a result maybe today. Sometimes you don't even get one today for the leverage activities, but I also get one tomorrow, right? I get one next week, I get one next month, I get one next year, all from the thing I did today. Now imagine doing a leverage activity one time does not get, it's not going to equal that much leverage. Now imagine um, if when I was making Facebook posts and then commenting with whoever or getting into conversations with whoever got <clears throat> whoever like commented, right? I'm getting into conversations with them um, and having like a sales conversation. Uh, that's like one of the best things to do to like bring some cash in today. But let's say I'm in a, you're, I'm in a place where it's like, you don't, I don't need to bring cash in today. Like that's okay. Well, what if instead of making a Facebook post, I did a YouTube video and I did that every day because here's the thing I'm making a YouTube video right now um, because of this principle and, and also because I just like to do them. Um, but the day that I put out a YouTube video like this, it's, it's like the day that it gets the least amount of views. So it's like, I do this today and I get like, I, I get not much today. I get maybe a little bit tomorrow, but I get a little bit more next week. I get a little bit more next month. I get a little bit more all throughout the year. Now imagine if then I make another YouTube video the next day and another one the next day, right? Well, now all of a sudden the results that are coming tomorrow from this YouTube video are lining up with this one's two and they're lining up with this one's two and it creates, this is what creates this effect that we all really are looking for in business. This effect that goes like this. Let's see, let me see if I can draw it out here. Right, this is time right here going from left to right. And this is results right here, right? So this is a graph and it's what creates this effect that looks like this. And what this is called is exponential growth. Where right here, you might be like, you know, making uh, a sale here and there. And then, you know, maybe here you're at, you get to 10K um, per month, per month. That's what that's supposed to say. And then here you're at 20. And then here you're at, you know, 50 and here you're at, let's say, here you're at 100K per month, right? And this just keeps going on and on and on and up and up and up. Um, but, and I'm not, like, just to be straight up, I haven't gotten past, I haven't gotten past this mark yet. I'm just aware of this and I'm sharing it with you, right? And, and, and here's why I haven't gotten past that because I wasn't following this principle. So when I, when I hit 10K per month, this is what was going on. I was doing this, this model right here, Facebook posts, conversation, sales. But here's the problem with this. 
when I decided that I needed a break or that I was getting burnt out or that I was tired of having 10 hour days because I'd make a Facebook post, this stuff would stack up over time too. Cause I'd have conversations with people and people would fall off. They'd stop responding. But the next day I'd go make a Facebook post, start some new conversations and I'd be able to talk with the people that I created conversations with today. And also the people that, uh, like forgot the reply from yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that and so like this stuff stacked up but over time like when I wanted to take a break I would stop making Facebook posts and I would stop doing this for like maybe you know two months and during these two months I still had conversations I still had them because I was I had conversations that I had generated Right. So it's, there's a tiny bit of leverage here, but it's not, it's not much. Right. And so when I stop making new content though, then, and I'm, and I'm continuing doing the, the messenger conversations. Well, eventually these dried up. It took about two months. And then once these dried up, well, this was gone too. So, um, and then it's like, okay, then I have to start making content again, start creating new conversations and then build this like back up again and and in the throes of it it's like i'm just uh making content and having messenger conversations all day and so now this is a principle that i like to live by now and the principle is this the things that i do are things that i know will work for me today and work for me in the future if it only does something for me today, then it's not worth doing. Unless it's like a sales call, right? Of course, like, or like, uh, or like a conversation with a prospect, like, because you can't really replace that. You're going to have to have sales calls or conversations with your prospects. I mean, you can replace it with a funnel, right? And so, so what's the work that I'm doing today? right? You might be asking, well, what are you doing and what are you focusing on for leverage then? And so this is, I'll just tell you, right? It's YouTube content because people will watch your content on YouTube for months. They'll watch it years down the road. You may be watching this video in 2025 and that's just an example of how this works, right? Um, and so I'll, I focus on making YouTube content and on top of that, ads, paid ads. These are very high leverage because when you get them right, especially paid ads on YouTube, because YouTube ads are meant for scaling. So a lot of times people will talk about Facebook ads and but they, what they do is they run Facebook ads and then like every two weeks they have to make new ads because the old ones aren't working anymore. And that, that's not that leverage. That's kind of like, um, of course there's other people on Facebook that, that have a, a better strategy, but this is a common one that I hear about. And that's kind of like, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like this whole thing, but with like some money behind it to make with some money there to make sure that people see your content that you're making. You're not making it every day, but you're making it every couple of weeks. And, um, and if you stop doing it, then your ads stop getting results. Right. And so that's not a spot that we want to be in. But what I really like is YouTube ads because YouTube ads, once you have good ones that are converting, now it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Yes, it's going to take, it's not going to happen right away. It's going to take time to figure out how to get ads working. Oops. What's going on here with this thing? All right. We'll delete that. My pen that I draw with has a button on it. And every time I click that button on accident, it does that. Um, so it's going to take time to figure out how to get ads working but once they are the ad is up like i have i think seven ads going on youtube right now the ad is up and i don't do anything all i do is one time every week once a week i just 
like look at it I look at the metrics and then I see like okay are these still doing good yes okay keep them up <laughs> you know like that's it once a week I'm looking at something for like 15 minutes and um, and what these are doing is they're bringing people into contact with my offers These people are seeing my offers and they're booking calls or they're joining my email list. And on my email list, I have emails that are already written for like about four months. People get emails for four months every day. They hear from me for, for four months. And that's going to other pieces of YouTube content that I've already made because I've made some YouTube content. I can send emails sharing those. Um, they go to my Facebook group. They go to uh, like offers to get onto a call. Some emails are just value that I've that I've written out, um, things that I'm sharing, insights that I've had um, that I think would help. And so because of this, now it's like I do one piece of work today, and it is working for me in the future. Me writing a new email. Me writing a new email to add to my email sequence, this list of emails that I have, that is a leveraged activity. And the thing is, I don't get results from doing that today. Like I have four months of emails, not because I didn't sit down and write out um, 160 emails in like three, I didn't take like block three days off my calendar and just write out 160 emails and then make the whole list. Like I did like five. I wrote five emails and then like, I think it was like the next, the following week, I was like, Hey, let's make, let's write five more emails. And I, and I wrote five more. And then what I did is every time I came up, every time I made a new YouTube video right here, I'd make some content on YouTube. I would write an email and instead of sending it to my whole list, I just added it onto the email sequence. I was like, okay, people will see it when they get to this part of the email sequence. And I just continued to do that. I knew like, okay, I'm making a YouTube video today. I'm going to um, write an email about it. This stuff is going to work for me today a little bit, but it's going to work for me over and over and over again in the future. And then I built this system by doing this. And then I started running ads. And so now ads are getting new people in consistently going through the system that I already built. And, and the only reason that I was able to have patience and do this is because I knew that I was focusing on leverage. And so this is like really nuanced me explaining everything that I've been doing. But the key thing to remember, no matter what type of business that you have, is if you are focusing on doing something today that's going to work for you today and work for you in the future and continue to work for you, then you're creating leverage. Now, if you know that the one thing that you're doing today and that's your main focus, it's only going to give you results today. Well, you're, if that's what you're doing, you're creating a hamster wheel. I know because I did that and it sucked. So hope this was helpful for you. That's all I got. See ya.